Hey, how you doing? My name is David Duford, founder of Buy Life Insurance for Burial.com, where I help people like you find affordable life insurance for your final expense and life insurance needs. Thank you so much for attending today's training. The topic of today's training is what is modified whole life insurance? So what we're going to do today is uh, really just start off by defining what modified whole life insurance is and then start to go into detail more about who modified insurance is right for, who it's not, and all the other particularities that follow along with this question as there is a lot to cover. So uh, a little overview of what we're going to speak about today. So first I'm going to introduce you to myself and my business by life insurance burial if you uh, don't know about me or what I do for a living. Then we're going to talk about what the definition of modified whole life insurance is so you can better understand exactly with the facts how a modified whole life insurance product works. And then we're going to talk about the pros of a modified whole life insurance uh, uh, product as well as the cons too so you can uh, draw a difference on uh, really who a modified whole life insurance product is right for, who it's wrong for, uh, which companies offer modified whole life insurance, whether you think this is something you need or if it's not, because we're going to cover both circumstances, you'll know which companies to uh, either uh, potentially work with or avoid. Then we're going to cover how much coverage you can get on a modified life insurance plan and what a modified life insurance plan pays for when you pass away. And then I'm going to give you my final thoughts on modified whole life insurance in general, it's very important that you stick around to the very end of this video or article if you're reading it, because um, I have a lot to say on this topic and I'm saving um, more or less the uh, personal opinions I have on it uh, till the very end after you're able to develop your own opinion and based on the facts that I'm gonna show you. And then I'm gonna tell you what the next steps would be if you decided uh, to qualify for a life insurance program. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit more about myself. My name is David Duford, I am the owner of BuyLifeInsuranceForBurial.com. I have been a licensed life insurance agent in a multitude of states since uh, the year 2011. And uh, in my time in this business, I have uh, helped over 3,000 families with their life insurance needs uh, through all walks of life and in all sorts of different circumstances. I'm also a published author of two books, the one most uh, probably interesting to you, uh, is the one you see down here in the corner, which is entitled The Official Guide to Buying Final Expense Insurance. So uh, it's a short little book I put together to help people uh, understand what their options are for final expense life insurance. Uh, in addition to helping people like yourself with their life insurance needs, I also am a life insurance agency owner. I recruit and train life insurance agents nationally. I have well over several hundred agents and uh, I work with them to develop them as insurance agents to uh, help them help people like you uh, in their own communities. Uh, la lastly here, and just as important, I assure you, <laughs> I'm married and at the filming of this video, my fourth child is on the way. So we have a big family and um, here we are. Now, let's get on with it. What is the definition of a modified whole life insurance product? You're probably watching this because you have either investigated some life insurance options, perhaps you have just taken out a life insurance option or life insurance program. And upon receipt of the actual policy, you're finding that the language of the policy stipulates that it's what's called a modified whole life insurance product. And uh, it may not have been the verbiage that your agent used or even if you were going to buy through the mail, let's say you bought it that way. Uh, you end up with a plan that you're just not quite sure of and you're doing your due diligence to figure out if this product is really the thing that you really, at the end of the day, need or even want. So that's the purpose of this video is to better explain that to you because uh, modified whole life insurance is something that can be confusing, but we're going to dispel it very quickly. So modified whole life insurance, simply put, means your life insurance product has an altered level of coverage for a set number of years in the beginning of the life insurance policy. Now, you may be thinking, um, okay, what does that mean? Um, but to clarify, modified is a term that's used in some circumstances, but also used as graded whole life insurance or return of premium whole life insurance. These are the same concepts. Uh, so just if you've heard of these or if your policy say, says these as well, 
uh, definitely listen up because this might apply to you as well. So with these kinds of plans, the premiums are level, so they never go up. You never have a price increase when you have a modified whole life insurance uh, program. What you pay from the first day is exactly uh, a mirror image of what you will pay the last time before you pass away at any point, which leads me to the last one. With a whole life plan of any kind, modified, graded, whatever, you cannot be canceled due to age or health. So as long as you pay the coverage, you have the coverage, or at least you have the policy. As we're going to find out, it's the coverage element is something that we have to be concerned with, and we're going to dive down into more detail. So real quick, what are the pros of a modified whole life insurance product? So the pros include, first of all, the main reason that me as a life insurance agent would sell a modified whole life insurance product is because there's more flexible, fle more flexibility in underwriting than a normal life insurance policy. So, for example, uh, let's say I sit down with somebody who has a series of chronic health ailments. Uh, if I were to put those, that person, with a traditional life insurance company that does ex an extreme level of underwriting, they make you do an examination, they make you do um, a physical, they make you, they go, they get records from your doctors that go back as far as possible. You're probably not going to end up getting approved for the policy you're applying for. Why? Because these chronic issues with many traditional life insurance products are usually knockouts or the rates are so high it doesn't even make any sense. A modified plan historically when it comes to a whole life insurance product usually is much less uh, restrictive on the underwriting practices. You can get a lot of health issues approved with a modified whole life insurance product rather than what you could find with a traditional whole life insurance product. So it's important to understand this is one of the biggest benefits, probably the biggest benefit of uh, what a modified whole life insurance product will do is that it's usually a lot easier to qualify for. And like I said, it can insure otherwise uninsurable applicants. And, and because not so much that it's modified, but a uh, modified whole life, but because it is a whole life insurance plan, you do get the advantages that are always the case with any whole life insurance products. You have no rate increases that you have to worry about. From the onset of getting approved and the policy being issued, you have a fixed price on your premium. There's never a price increase. So if you're on a fixed income, for example, you don't have to worry about ever facing down a price increase like you would with say a term insurance plan. Uh, term insurance plans sometimes have price increases. There is one in particular that will go up every five years. So as you get older, you pay more. And if you're on a fixed income, that's tough to do because everybody's trying to take more money anyway. And uh, it would be nice not to let that happen. And then lastly, with any kind of whole life insurance product, same deal. This isn't because it's a modified plan as much as it is a whole life insurance plan. Whole life insurance cannot be canceled because of age or health. As long as you pay the coverage, as long as you keep it on the books, you have the coverage that you took out. So you may be thinking, well, so far, uh, you know, way you're explaining it now sounds like it's not so bad. But if we go back to that original slide, you mentioned something about the coverage being altered for a set number of years. And that perhaps has you thinking or being concerned that there's some kind of catch to this. Well, there is, which brings me to the con section of the modified whole life insurance. Uh, so let's talk about that. So here's the bottom line deal with any kind of modified whole life insurance product, a graded whole life insurance product, return a premium whole life insurance product, even a guaranteed acceptance or guaranteed issue whole life insurance product. Your coverage is limited for the first two years at a minimum, uh, depending on which company that you're using. I have seen limitations for coverage last four years. I have some that I've seen that last for three years. So there are plans out there that will make you wait a long time before any of the coverage you've actually purchased and the amount that you wanted is actually in effect to the level that you want to. Now most of the time what you'll be faced with is a two-year waiting period policy. So what does this actually mean? Uh, this means that if you die from natural causes within the first two years, then your money or your premium dollars you paid in is refunded or returned as the beneficiary to the beneficiary plus a level of interest usually 10 percent this is where the term a return of premium policy comes from because you were getting your returns your premiums are being returned to your beneficiary 
So what's the problem here? Well, what if you die in the first two years of natural causes? Well, you don't have full coverage. Whereas um, if you had gotten a policy that did fully cover, you family would get the full death benefit. So there's an instant problem with a modified whole life insurance product. It's not comprehensive coverage. Now, as we'll get into shortly, there are circumstances where modified whole life insurance makes sense, but there are circumstances where it doesn't make sense. And as we'll discuss later, uh, it's actually a huge percentage of people who qualify for these modifieds. They could actually do a lot better. The other thing with a modified whole life insurance product or a graded whole life insurance product is that the premiums are usually much, much higher than what you would find with other products. In a little while, I'm going to show you some rates on different graded and modified plans. And I can tell you when you look at these rates, if you'll keep this in the back of your mind, for, for non-modified or what we call level whole life insurance or preferred whole life insurance products, the, the premiums are much more much less expensive. You're literally saving 25 to 50% in premium difference in many cases. So, you know, why spend more when you don't have to? is the big thing you have to ask yourself, especially if you're on a fixed income or just don't want to spend a lot of money for something that you don't have to. So graded whole life insurance products typically limit coverage to smaller amounts. And this may or may not be an issue. Some people are, are completely satisfactory with a $5,000 or a $10,000 plan. But there are companies out there that restrict coverage to a minimum of $10,000 if it's a modified whole life insurance product. So if you need more coverage for that, if your needs are greater, then a modified whole life insurance product may not get you the amount of coverage that you really want. And this is what I was mentioning earlier. Worst of all, with the cons of a modified whole life insurance product is that many people who qualify for a modified whole life insurance or a graded whole life insurance product can qualify for first day full coverage without the, no, without the waiting period uh, for natural causes of death. This is what I think is the most frustrating. I'll give you a case example here. I was having a conversation with an agent that sells a product where probably about 30% of her business is a modified whole life insurance product and the other 70% is preferred. Well, out of that 30%, there's actually about 20, there's actually a, about of the 30%, if you look at 20 of the 30%, so you're looking at two out of three people within that 30% range, which is most of them, they would actually be able to qualify for something better, like more along the lines of a preferred plan. Uh, the case I gave this, this particular agent uh, to think about, and she only works with one company. She doesn't shop around the insurance like I do to find the best price. The case I gave to her is I had a gentleman who had COPD. He was 63. He did smoke, but he had no other health issues. And he died from natural causes within the first two years of his plan. The insurance company we approved him for Proved him for the full amount of coverage from the first day. Eventually, his wife got paid the entire, or his ex fiance got paid the entire death benefit, and she had a lot of money and it made a huge difference and impact in her life. However, if she worked with this other company, they would have only paid back the premiums plus a little bit of interest, about 10%. She probably would have ended up with a thousand bucks instead of the nine thousand she got. And so imagine, does it cost a thousand bucks to bury somebody? No, it costs more like nine thousand. So it can make a huge impact in a negative way on a family. And, and the point I made is this particular agent knows this and sells a product anyway and is not doing a proper service to her clients. And uh, look, this is how this business is. You are the boss. You need the best deal that you can get. And why get stuck with something where you're taking a risk with no coverage for a good number of years? You don't have to. In some cases, you don't have to. And what I'm about to show you here in a little bit or what cases where you wouldn't have to. So kind of expanding on this, who is modified whole life insurance potentially a good fit for? So look, the best way to explain modified whole life insurance is that it's a trump card. When nothing else works, then you pull out the trump card. It's the last card in the deck to hopefully win the game. And a modified whole life insurance plan is that trump card. It's what I would use if I couldn't get somebody covered in any other way. And again, this is something you wanna seriously consider purchasing if nothing else will work, okay? So if you've tried applying for a policy that asks health questions or a lot of health questions, if you've tried to do everything in your power possible to get a plan that's gonna be a better deal and you've still been declined, that's when a modified plan makes the most sense. Unfortunately, 
A lot of people do it the other way, like I said, and they don't even know about this. But by definition, only otherwise uninsurable people should consider buying a graded whole life insurance policy. So don't look at this. If you see modified, like if you've got a modified whole life insurance plan right now, my only take on this would be, I would have hoped you worked with an agent that shops around before purchasing it. Then if they really tried hard and they work with different companies and they really shop, they go to the mat for you and this is all they can do, it's probably going to be a best deal. However, if they started off with one company and they didn't tell you they sell other companies and this is the only thing they offered, it's very likely that there's better deals out there and you need to at least do some investigation as to what better deals do exist. So what health conditions make sense for a modified whole life insurance product? So again, I mentioned that the only reason to have a modified whole life insurance program is if you have no other options and you've exhausted your other options. So that would only uh, beg the question, well, under what circumstances would that be? So let's cover just a few cases, not a lot of cases. Um, there's a lot of conditions, but these are the most common ones I see. And this will kind of give you an idea of where you, you kind of stand to see if there is something better than a modified whole life option that you've uh, looked at, at the, on the table. So cognitive memory disorders, um, as long as there's not a knockout question on the modified whole life insurance product for Alzheimer's, dementia, memory loss, that kind of thing. Then if that's not, then you can get approved and that's a good choice to get a modified plan because any kind of cognitive memory, memory disorder is not going to end up getting any kind of level or preferred coverage for a whole life product, much less term. Uh, it's pretty much a knockout. Uh, you only can do a guaranteed issue <coughs> type of plan or a modified whole life insurance type of plan. Kidney failure is another one. Most companies out there, especially if you're on dialysis, you're not going to get coverage. You're only stuck with a modified option if they allow for it or some sort of guaranteed issue coverage. If you use an oxygen tank to supplement your breathing because you've got a chronic lung disease like COPD or emphysema, then no company is going to take you for anything better than a two-year waiting period life insurance product. So go look for a no questions asked whole life insurance product. Go look for a modified life insurance product. Those are going to be better as long as they can qualify you. And, and last example here, if you're terminally ill, if you're in a nursing home, confined to your wheelchair, you can't move around, this is where a modified plan under their underwriting guidelines would make the most sense to qualify for. So again, this isn't a complete list. This is just some examples to get your brain moving, get you some ideas out there as to see what would work and what wouldn't work. So hopefully this uh, kind of helps you. So let's talk about where... A modified whole life insurance potentially is a bad fit because as many, as many people as there are that it would be a good fit, there's many more that it wouldn't be. So most applicants to graded whole life insurance with a good or okay health will find more comprehensive coverage options with other life insurance companies. Again, like I've said several times now, you don't want to start off your life insurance hunt by purchasing a modified or graded whole life insurance product. Find a broker, find an independent agent, someone like myself, that's me. I can help you shop around to find what options are out there that would be the best deal. Sometimes it is a modified plan, many, many times it's not. Conditions that may still qualify you for first day full coverage, whole life insurance, and, and, and get you coverage without a waiting period include the following conditions that a lot of people really feel are negative and are going to be declinable and uh, nobody would even consider. So it's kind of surprising. So first of all, diabetes. Um, I have gotten hundreds of people approved for first day full coverage that have diabetes. Even if they take insulin, even if they have diabetic neuropathy or complications of diabetes, in most cases, these people can get preferred coverage that start from the first day. I've literally had, again, hundreds of people with cancer who had cancer. It's been gone for a number of years. There's been no treatment for a number of years. I've gotten them preferred fully covered from the first day. Same thing with heart health history. So I've had numerous people with heart attacks, strokes, stents, bypasses, seizures, aneurysm, pacemakers, congest not congestive heart failure, but everything else. And um, they are able to get first day full coverage with enough time in the right carriers uh, between when they actually had the heart condition or heart event. Again, kind of surprising, right? You think, oh, I have heart problems. Nobody's ever going to take me. It's not the case. Lung disease, COPD, uh, emphysema, chronic bronchitis, sarcoidosis. These, as long as you're not taking oxygen, you can get the option in many cases for a first 
day full coverage product. I just got someone approved who had a pulmonary embolism that takes warfarin, which is a heavy blood thinner, and it affects her lungs. Pulmonary is your lungs. And uh, it affects her breathing, and she doesn't have vocal cords. And she was able to get fully covered with one of my insurance products, even at the age of 38. So uh, tough, tough case, but hey, man, she's fully covered from the first day. And mental health disorder. So this would be, uh, for example, somebody who has anxiety. Uh, somebody has severe anxiety. They're clinically depressed, mildly depressed, severely depressed. Um, someone with post-traumatic stress disease disorder. Somebody who's schizophrenic, bipolar even. Um, as long as you're not committing, you're, you know, attempting to commit suicide or you are suicidal, as long as that's not the case, then mental health disorders are actually one of the easiest things, easiest conditions that we can get a whole life, first day full coverage product in force for. These conditions don't affect insurability as far as I'm concerned when I deal with my clients. So again, if you have any of these, and there's more than this too, I think there's one more line here. Um, neurological problems, lupus, even Parkinson's. In most cases, these are okay for first day full coverage. So you may be surprised, like I was saying. I mean, a lot of my clients have had at least one of these problems, sometimes multiple ones, and we still get them preferred coverage. It, it all comes down to finding an independent agent that can shop the carriers and understand their underwriting to provide you the best options for coverage. So which companies do modified whole life insurance? So again, you might be thinking, okay, um, I see I could probably get whole life insurance, but maybe you're thinking, uh, or hope first day full coverage, but what, what other modified companies are out there? You should know this at least if you're not totally impressed on buying modified whole life insurance by now, which is fine. I'm going to talk about some other options here in a moment. Um, then let me at least point out the companies that do offer it so you can be aware of which ones just to be concerned with because you may end up buying it. A lot of times these companies are very good at they don't hide the fine print, but they make it appear in a way that's difficult to find and validate. So a couple companies, Colonial Pen is probably the biggest proponent of, of a two-year waiting period policy. And they don't call it a modified whole life insurance. They call it a graded product or, or guaranteed acceptance life insurance product. But it's essentially the same. It's a two-year waiting period product. There's no health questions asked. It, it, look, you could probably do better. So try to find and work with somebody else first before you go down this path. Same thing with Mass Mutual. They do a guaranteed acceptance life insurance program, two-year waiting period product. AARP, um, they actually do term insurance and they also do a permanent plan and one of which is a guaranteed acceptance product. There's a two-year wait on that. So again, be aware of that and um, make sure if you go that route, you look at the fine print. Also, Physicians Mutual. And, and look, I've mentioned a lot of companies here. If you're over 50, you've heard of all of these and seen their junk mail and TV ads. Most of the TV ad, uh, ads for life insurance companies and the junk mail life insurance companies are a two-year waiting period product. I can safely say that 90% of the time, that's what you're looking at. So be very careful when you go down these routes. Again, you don't really have an independent agent who's not married to any of these companies to help navigate this stuff for you, which is why I'm putting this training together so you can better compartmentalize this. So let's look at some rates real quick for modified whole life insurance. You're probably curious, how much does this cost? What are the details, that kind of thing. So I just pulled out two rate guides here for a 65 year old male on the next slide is a 65 year old female. For $10,000 in coverage, you can see up here in the upper right hand corner, uh, the age and you also see where it says graded and modified benefit. That means a two year waiting period or two years of limitation of coverage. So you can see the prices here you know, this is for 10000 To me, this is pretty steep in price. Uh, if you can qualify for preferred coverage or first day full coverage, a 65-year-old non-smoking male can get this price down to more in the uh, $50 range. Now, that Life Shield deal is a pretty good deal, but most, but it's pretty tough to get qualified for it even on a modified basis. But all the other ones, as you can see, low 70s to mid 90s. But if you qualify for preferred pricing, I've seen $50 to $60 a month. Big difference, okay? And this is non-smoker rates. Smoker rates would be higher. Uh, but again, this is for examples purposes, just to show you where the rates would be and how different they would be um, if you got preferred. So female here, same deal, um, mid-50s to mid-70s. I can tell you a 10,000-year-old, 10, 10, That's a, that would be a lot of money for life insurance. A $10,000 plan for a 65-year-old female 
uh, usually are in the uh, upper 30s to mid 40s. Substantial difference again. And the ones that we mentioned earlier, Colonial Pen especially, their prices would be kind of right in the midline here of these companies we're looking at. But like I said, these are all inflated prices because Modified Whole Life accepts riskier underwriting. And if your health is better than riskier, as defined by the company, then we can get substantially lower premiums or more coverage for the same price that you're thinking of that would compare to this. Again, it all comes down to you talking to a professional and seeing what their options are for you as your individual situation is always unique from everybody else's. Now, how much coverage can you get if you do end up with a modified whole life insurance plan? Uh, you know, a lot of the times they limit the coverage. What I have seen is that the coverage limitation usually is, is, is at $10,000, although there are guaranteed issue companies, which are usually the same thing as a modified whole life insurance product that will go as high as $25,000. So if somebody has a condition that doesn't get first day full coverage and they want more than 10,000, we can do it. If you wanted to go higher than 25,000, what we would do is take a few different modified plans or guaranteed issue plans and sell them and stack them up on top of each other. I've had this happen several times with clients that wanted a significant amount of, of whole life insurance and uh, we just uh, maxed out the amount of coverage with each company we had and there's no law saying you can't own multiple life insurance companies. And then, hey, you may be thinking, well, Dave, I don't even want 5,000. I just want enough to cremate me. That's fine. A lot of com companies will start their coverage amounts off at $1,000 or even $2,500. So like a lot of this comes down to customizing to your needs and desire. So uh, no worries here. Um, you know, the amount of coverage you want is what we can get you. It's just a function of your budget and what you can afford, as I always like to say to my clients. What can I pay with a modified whole life insurance policy? Let's say you go down this route. You go down, you get a mod modified plan. What can, does it actually cover? Uh, real easy. The bottom line with any life insurance contract is it's an agreement, a contract between you, the insured, and then the life insurance company. And the contract stipulates the life insurance company's only job is to pay whomever the beneficiary is. There's no dictation from the company for how you spend the life insurance. So it's up to your beneficiary. You know, if they want to pay off your final expenses, um, you know, that's mostly what happens. You know, for example, funeral expenses such as your casket, your, your actual funeral service, anything related to funeral expenses, cremation expenses too, you can pay towards that if, if, if your beneficiary likes. Extra hospital bills, if you got loans laying around, wanted to pay off a car and give it to a grandkid, you could definitely do that. Basically anything, I, you can go to Hawaii and have fun and <laughs> leave the bill to someone else. Hopefully that doesn't happen. But you get my, my drift here. It's, it's, it's up to the, the beneficiary you decide upon, which on a sidetrack, different conversation altogether, you always want to choose a beneficiary you trust, somebody who will handle your final expenses, and um, you know not get greedy. Uh, luckily, most of us don't have that problem in our families, but you do want to consider this stuff because you're not going to be here to control it, right? Bottom line, though, why you are here and you have this life insurance product, and if you're looking for one, you're in full control of how much coverage you want through a modified whole life insurance policy or any whole life insurance policy, and who gets the money when you die. That is totally your decision. Okay, so some final thoughts here before we wrap up this presentation. Um, this is really what it comes down to, as I mentioned in the beginning, my opinion on modified whole life insurance uh, products as it stands. So first of all, I can't help but to overemphasize the fact that a modified whole life insurance product is a trump card. If you are working with an insurance agent or if you've taken out an insurance plan, and they only represented one company. And in that one offer, you got a modified whole life insurance product. That is not going to be the best bet for you in many, many circumstances, probably the majority of the time. So you're sitting here with a policy that is not in your best interest. It's not fully covering you from the first two years. And if you die, the people you leave behind are left holding the bag still for the most part. Because even with the return of premiums, with a $10,000 funeral bill, you're not even gonna touch half of it, much less a quarter of what it takes. So they're just basically in the same position. So with that said, you don't want to go this route if you can force, if you can help it. Always try to qualify for more comprehensive coverage first before resorting to a graded whole life insurance policy. While I'm not saying that you, that you can avoid altogether a graded or a modified or return of premium type of whole life insurance policy, I'm saying try really hard to not get that on the first pass through. 
um, look, I've had people that have come back with health conditions that um, the only offer they would get would be a two-year waiting period product or something like that. And uh, we w looked at another company that didn't care about that health condition and gave them first day full coverage. And when you're as long in the business as I am and you start paying death claims to families, there is no excuse to put somebody with a two-year waiting period policy when they don't have to. It's, it's a crime. You should do a better job for your clients. And there's a lot of agents that don't. They're lazy. They just throw something at you and then hope it sticks. But you as a client, as you know, deserve the best options that are out there. And you got to find an independent agent that can do that for you. And too often, folks start with a modified plan first. And, and they never realize there's nobody like me telling them that there might be better options out there, dep depending on what their health is and what they qualify for. <clears throat> so bottom line, um, work hard up front to find the best deal, not after the fact. And if you're at, watching this after the fact, no no. No foul here. I mean, look, I'm I'm not trying to be uh, you know abrasive, but yes, you can definitely make a change. Um, if this is not what you think you should get or should qualify for, understand that I, as an agent, can work with you anyway. I can show you better options, show you how to replace inferior coverage if you so happen to qualify for better options. And look, if you must go with a modified whole life insurance product, really try to buy it from an independent insurance agent who can shop around to find the best coverage. Independent insurance agents are the kind of agents that represent multiple life insurance companies. And many people, many agents choose to be independent agents because they feel it's important to provide the best overall value, not just service, not just sell you something, but make sure that they're giving you a competitive price with the most comprehensive guidelines for coverage. And that's why I do what I do. Like I said, I'm an independent agent because I don't like to stick my clients without real coverage for two years or pay on something while they don't have it. And, and last but not least, if you're forced into a modified plan, make sure that you don't spend any more waiting time than two years for natural death coverage. It's unnecessary this day and age to wait any longer than that. If you're on a three year or longer waiting period, please stop right now, call me. <laughs> Allow me to help you because you can get something better. Okay, some final steps here. Look, if you like my presentation, you like the training and, and the information that you got from me today, if you feel like you, things are measurably more and better understood, then I invite you to give me a call or drop by my website and let me help you out with your life insurance. My name again is David Duford. My number to reach me at is 888-626-0439. Uh, if you're watching this video after the fact, you can always scroll back and find the number below on uh, the left cor hand corner bottom of your screen as well as in the description of the video itself. Also, if you prefer not to talk and you just want to uh, uh, shoot some messages back and forth with me, it's fine with me as well. You can go to buylifeinsuranceforburial.com, go to the contact page at the top, submit a message that way, or if you're on a desktop, there should be a little pop-up box. You can click on that and send me a message direct that way. That's totally fine as well. And uh, look, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And if you've got a question about anything I'm describing here, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll be happy to address it. Again, David Duford of BuyLifeInsuranceForBurial.com where I help people like you get affordable quality, final expense, and life insurance coverage. Thank you for watching and take care.